so hello everyone and uh, very happy new year and uh, welcome to today's lead code daily challenge that is word pattern so basically you have been given a pattern and a string s so you have to see whether string s follows the same pattern so now what is that pattern so here for example a b b a is the pattern given to us that is we expect the first and the last word to be the same and the second and the third word to be the same now here if you see we don't have to check this um, blank spaces we have to only check the words now here the f if you see the first and the last word is the same and the second and, th and the third word is also the same that means it follows the same pattern as the pattern given to us that is this abba so the here the actual character does not matter just we have to check whether this pattern is followed or not similarly in the second part if you see we have, uh, here we expect the first and the last word to be the same but dog and fish are not same that's why we return a false now coming to the solution what we do is that we create a hash map of character to string and then we will uh, store all the words in the, from from string s to this uh, string array so uh, this will be done using split variable split uh, function so all this dog cat cat dog will be stored in the string array now of course if the patterns are that is the length of the pattern is not equal to the string length or sorry the array length then we will simply return a, return a false that is if we had another dog so if we had five words and only four pattern so that means of course the the length they won't be the same so we will return a false then we what we do is that we we uh, simply uh, iterate through the pattern and then we uh, do something with the hash map so i will explain you this in the code and the whiteboard now so I pasted the code over here, and this is the pattern. Uh, this is the question given to us. So our uh, so our string array will will have the following things. So this will be our array which will have these uh, words from the string s. Now uh, we will iterate through this uh, for loop. Now uh, for i equal to zero to i less than pattern dot length. So pattern dot length is four. So i equal to zero to i i less than three. So now first of all we will uh, store the first the first character that is a in variable ch in character ch now we will check whether this uh, map contains already contains the character uh, the character ch as a key so now uh, a we have a over here so a is not currently in the map so this contains key uh, boolean variable will have a false now if you see the we are, now we have three conditions so first condition is uh, if this cont contains key is true but here it is false so we will move to the next part here the contains key is false and what is the condition with it if map dot contains value of error uh, that is map already has the value array of i that is now what is array of i array of i here is dog now does the map contains the value dog no map is now empty so this uh, also is not true what we will do is we will simply put the uh, character and array uh, uh, that is character and dog and uh, it will be stored like this that is a key will be the a that is a character and the word will be the value for it so basically it contains value uh, tells us whether this uh, variable this uh, element is present as a value or not and contains key tells us that whether this uh, is present as a key or not okay so now coming to the next part that is i equal to so i equal to 0 we have we have already run so now i equal to 1 now i equal to 1 we have a b and here we have a cat right so uh, again we will check whether b is present in the map no so contains key will be having a false now uh, um, now since f part is false so else if part now map uh, does map contains the value cat no uh, in the value part that is a, this is the key and this is the value part okay so that is a like this so now cat is not present in the value part so now of course with the else part is remaining so we will simply store the b to c cat uh, link so b to cat will be stored in the map okay so now coming to the next part that is i equal to 2 we have a b and now for i equal to 2 we have a b and a cat so now we have now if we check contains key so ma does map contains a key called b yes map already has a key b so it will be a true now we are in the first if 
so if the contains key that is uh, that is map already contains the key called b yes and map dot map dot get ch that is the value associated with the uh, b that is the cat is not equals here it not is there so not equals uh, uh, the value a uh, cat so here the value associated with b is cat and also the array of i currently is cat so both are equal but so this condition is false because we have to check here it is not equals so uh, this condition is false so we will move to the else if part now uh, we the contains key is true over here so it will also this condition also falls so simply we will put this uh, character to uh, uh, that is character to array of i in the map but it is already present so it will do nothing since it is already present so it, so it will do nothing so now moving to the next part i equal to 4 we have a a uh, so for i equal to sorry i equal to 3 we have a a and the dog so okay so we have a, a and a dog so uh, now contains key is true because we have a a over here and if we check the first condition uh, the value associated with a is dog that is map dot get ch is equal to dog and uh, array of i is also dog so both are equal so this condition is false next condition is also false since contains key is true and we will simply again put uh, a to dog but it is already present so we have successfully uh, traveled through all the uh, i equal to 0 to i less than 3 i, I equal to 3 and uh, at the end we will return it true since we didn't return false at any stage now taking another example uh, here you will understand where this return false will work so if so just take an example a b a d is a pattern and the word given to us is dog cat eat and eat or suppose that it is eat again so uh, if we go through the first two part so uh, of course since the map is empty so a to dog will be stored then again b is not present so b to cat will be stored now if you see uh, we are at here this point so here we have a and cat now a is already present in the map and the value associated with a is dog okay but here the arrow of i is eat now since both are not equal so that's why we will be returning a false so if you see here this contains key is true since uh, a is already present in the map as a key and this map dot get ch that is dog is not equal to array of i that is eat so that, that's why we return a false over it so this is how it first false will uh, this, this is how this if condition will return a false now if you see another example a b c d and we have a dog eat 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 okay so now after the first two steps we get a a dog and a b eat okay in the map now if you see when we are at c we have a c character as c and we have a eat now c is not present in the map the contains key will be false okay now if you see the contains key is false but but the map already contains the eat variable if you see the map dot contains value array of i is true because it is already present as a value is a value but it, the, the value associated with it is is b and the else if part if you check if map dot contains value array of i that is map already has the array of that is e it is already present in the map and the contains key that is the current c is not present in the map so we will return a false because c should be mapped to eat but it is already present to is it is already mapped to variable or the character b so that's why we return a false so i hope you understood why this return false will come uh, the if and the else if part so i hope you uh, understood the solution well so now let's let's submit the code so the solution is getting accepted and i hope you like the video so thank you for being with me and do like and subscribe our channel and thank you very much